Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Beatrice Vivius. Uncle Frankie two stocks is hiding in the car. We saw a leopard. And Barde. Yeah, on the St. Lucia Ingwe Beach. Huh. And that's the Zulu name for leopard. Yeah, in Isimangalisa Wetland Park, South Africa. Me and Pardet, we're going to hug the shoreline this morning. We're not going to walk close to the dune forests. No, 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 no. I'm waiting for Pardet to play catch up. She's self grooming this morning. Let's enjoy the sunrise. I forgot to charge the microphone. Actually, the microphone is missing in action. And down the beach the water colors is beautiful it's probably because the tide is still high or maybe the northwesterly wind was talking loudly last night look how flat the ocean is it's gonna be a scoring a hot day today uncomfortable Looking towards Mopelan Bay, it's just an awesome sight. But looking east, it's just as beautiful. It's great to be alive. It's great to be able to do this job. We arrived at the launch site, it's beautiful, yeah? Everything is beautiful. If I open every clip with uh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, then it becomes very boring. It's so pretty. That's the history now. Yeah? Sun is coming up. There we've got the sun rising from behind the house of Poseidon. is this
very peculiar beetle on my leg battling through the, my hair waving in the wind view of St. Lucia Estuary Mouth a couple of yellow bull kites hunting here between the dunes beautiful view tide has turned, it's going out so the water colors is turning ginger beer when we got here this morning it was nice and deep blue beautiful colors beautiful history this morning out going tight very narrow there where it's going out and that just means it's cows are deep the northwesterly wind made it pivot to the east drastically and dramatically Lovely water colour here at uh, the boardwalk entrance. The wind is probably going to keep it like this the whole day. Nice colour lines to fish along. Beautiful gully here at Viewside and another one at Ingwe. No boats is launching today, so let's go home for bed. Make some breakfast, enjoy the day. got clean, clean, clean borehole water. I just put it in the bucket. It's just a cement pool, but just before lockdown it was resurfaced and repainted and ready for 2020. And then lockdown happened and now it's a big mess. Why haven't I sorted out my post lockdown? I just don't have the funds. I don't have the energy. But mostly the funds. So me and Uncle Frankie has been picking up some dead bubble on the beach. Well, half dead bubble on the beach. And we've been stashing them in the pool. We have some exciting um, consequences. Have a look here. They've been taught, teaching themselves how to catch these insects. Look at this insect jumping. Look. Bobble coming, insects jumping out of the way. I feed them dog food, bread scraps, earthworms, pieces of dead fish, whatever I can get. Sometimes just some chicken livers. I don't really have a plan with them. Between two lockdowns, I fill them up, the pool up with tilapia. That I had a plan with. Those I eat nice. But I emptied it because we had people coming in for December. Took all the tilapia so I cleaned the pool out and the solar system collapsed on me. So that didn't work out well. The le leopard exactly where she is and how late she is there. Every day, same day, place, same time. It's starting to make me nervous. Yes, I couldn't make a, get a photo or a video this morning. We saw the leopard <laughs> on Beach Road right this morning. And uh, I know I'm paranoid, but um, I, I almost saw my ass with the crocodiles back in 2022. I wasn't cautious enough. So um, I did bathe by the today, the first time in many years. I'll do it again uh, tomorrow. It just it, it changed her scent a lot so that um, we can. It's the only way I can break the routine. I cannot break the routine any other way. I'll be on the beach every day, otherwise I don't get paid. I can't leave Padet at home alone. Um, then she's too vulnerable to the leopard. So, um, change her scent enough to put the leopard off if he encounters her. She's old. She leaves a trail of 
being a prey, I saw that in 2022 with a crocodile encounter. And uh, yeah, so I have to be more wary. The square root of St. Lucia, but they found it. Old joke, I know, nobody laughs at that. Pretty much the same conditions as yesterday afternoon. Wind moderately strong northwesterly. Water a little bit darker brown ginger beer than yesterday afternoon. I just wonder which bird is trying to hunt over there. It's bigger than anything that I know. And it almost hunts like a turn. stuck in the mud, he's not coming up again. He went for a nice dive. But he really got up that way. He's out of reach now. the ingoing tide. That's on the main camera and it's going quite fast, eh? It's faster. As you can see that this tide going north and that tide, tide going north whether it, it, it's definitely a tidal surge, tidal push from my side. But whether it comes delayed and comes through the back channel from the Mflozi River or comes in front of the public slipway, that is debatable. Because we are going towards low tide 7 o'clock. Okay. It was high tide at 16.15. Um, so that, and the tide is still coming in, in here at Sunset Jetty, but it's also going out here at Sunset Jetty. So I will drop a, a Google Earth um, in here to show you. I did apply to make that. Uh, the video is more interesting through Google Earth uh, Studio um, but they will only look at it on Tuesday or Wednesday and say whether they approved me or not The tide should have been going out now for an hour already and it's still blocks coming upstream This is very interesting I'm never this, this system never ceased to amaze me Never ceases to amaze me. Go, lock, go, go, lock, go. Beautiful sunset, and listen to that Ollie coming down here. Okay, that's fun us returning for the evening. Beautiful, beautiful sunset jet, sunset jetty.
Beautiful docking there for fun us. <laughs> 